What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest AirOS version 12.1 official build. This is the 2nd August 2022 build and of course based on Android 12L or 12.1. I know I haven't made a previous video recently on the AirOS. That's because the AirOS does not come with the Enix camera. And if you want to look at the change logs, you can look for that in the AirOS website and all the download links and the flashing guide and stuff will be present in the description so do not worry now talking about the instructions again of the flashing yes i have used the f2fs kind of supported orange fox recovery over here and all those links again you can find in the description so do use those recoveries only and here if you're looking at the data partition as you are noticing it is on f2fs right now so yes this is on f2fs that's why the rom actually feels amazingly smooth everywhere that i go and even scrolling and stuff feeling a lot more smoother and yes all the ROMs are coming with this f 2 face kind of partition right now but the AirOS is simply feeling a lot more superior because of the fluidity and stability in the overall UI but I have to say again if you're someone who needs MIUI camera this is not a ROM for you and that's the reason why I stay away from this AirOS because I need the MIUI camera but this time I thought why not let's just try it. Now in the Android version section we of course have that OG AirOS logo right there and the color of this will depend on your accent color or depending on the wallpaper this color will change and here we have the AirOS version as 12.1 this is a GIF variant again of the AirOS and once you're downloading make sure you select the 12.1 from that website and here if you keep tapping on this and make this clock to this 12 o'clock if you're noticing we're getting that old kind of Android 12's easter egg not the newer Android 12 L kind of easter egg that's how it is and the device is shown as Sweetin or Redmi Note 10 Pro of course and here we have the security patch of July 5th, 2022 as of right now, not quite August yet. And the stock kernel is the 4.14 perf kernel. Here is the build date again, 2nd August, 2022. Now in the system panel, this is how it looks. We have the gestures. So first thing is the quickly open camera that works fine. We have the system nav gestures. In the settings of it, we have the swipe to invoke assistant and stuff, but you cannot really customize this pill bar over here and we have the gesture bar option right here let me go back we have the three button navigation then of course you can invert the layout if you're using the three button navigation and one hand and mode should be working perfectly fine as you are noticing and the press and hold power button is there then we have the swipe direct screenshot and yes swipe direct screenshot is working flawlessly there is that capture mode if you want to use that and there is a shared edit delete and the other options so let me just delete this screenshot for now we have the long press power button toggle torch that works fine also there is that double press option then we have the enable advanced restart the double tap to sleep playback control and the volume control that's it in the gesture settings now again we do have the updater also and you can check for updates from right here by the way again it shows which build you are on and whenever the new update comes it will arrive right here yes you can use this system updater if you are encrypted user i am an encrypted user so this is working perfectly fine for me on the bottom in the system settings we do get this device specific settings from here you can change the refresh rate of the device i have been using with the 120 hertz all the time but you can go with the 60 hertz and 120 hertz and between that it will switch depending on the content of the screen and we have the de-slimming option that is working fine and the delac sound is there and we have this enable sound enhancement option then from here you get all the presets the youth edition and stuff this is supposed to be present in the sound settings in other ROMs but here we have this in the device specific settings and the sound quality very headphone jack and even in bluetooth it was fine and we have the sound preset option and the hi-fi audio option too now first things first let's talk about the stock launcher yes you are getting that quick step launcher here it shows as the name the double tap to sleep the swipe to access google app and all other customization so this is a great launcher and we actually have the double tap to sleep i mean and here just notice the double tap to sleep is working flawlessly and if you are looking at the fingerprint scanner speed it's working fine again let me show you one more time so yeah fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever that i have faced with the fingerprint scanner it unlocks perfectly fine within a millisecond i guess so yeah the fingerprint scanner is fast and yes as you can see it has unlocked and yes with the power button you can press the power button this is how the unlocking and locking animation looks and you can tap the fingerprint scanner this is how it unlocks again let me tell you that there is no face unlock in this rom 
and in the settings there is no quick unlock either and there is no app lock feature on this rom so yes you if you need those features like the app lock the face unlock those things are simply not present i mean this is a great rom but this is the reason why i stay away from these kind of roms let's get back to the home screen point and to the left we get the google's discover page working perfectly fine swiping up will get you to the app drawer and you can search for any particular apps Swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel and this is one thing that I like about this ROM that even in the white theme the quick setting panel stays white that is what it should be I feel. Now again double tap to sleep is present you should not worry about that also the animations of the widgets are working perfectly fine and here also with this clock widget too it is working perfectly fine even this animation and stuff looks beautiful the wallpaper I'm using is from the Wallpi app you will get that in the description. By the way, let me talk about one more thing that the battery kind of widget is simply not present. I tried searching for it, but yeah, the battery widget, which like actually shows the phone's battery and the Bluetooth headset's battery, that kind of thing is simply not present over here. By the way, this is how the volume panel looks like and you can switch between your phone speaker and your Bluetooth headset just like this. The animation works flawlessly over here. No problems whatsoever. Also, there is that like mute and the general switching option. And we have the volume panel just like this and you can also expand the volume panel just like this works flawlessly now let's talk about the stock camera well the stock camera i simply did not like because this is the old kind of google camera and i don't like it at all but let me talk about the google camera that i have installed the newer 8.4 Google camera and it has been working perfectly fine. I mean, this is the best G cam that I have ever seen for this particular device. As you can see, there is that wide option. So this is actually the ultra wide angle lens and there's that macro option too, working perfectly fine again. And with G cam, this macro mode and stuff is working fine. By the way, let me talk about one more thing that is like with most G cam, I have seen the Redmi Note 10 Pro under saturated pictures, but with this one, that's not the case with the XML. You will get amazing quality pictures let me show you an example like just look at the colors the colors are really amazing on this gcam and yes i have been totally enjoying this gcam this is actually taking amazing quality photos even night sight option and stuff is there the portrait mode is working fine i have only one complaint that like the even in the portrait mode or in the normal camera mode if you enable the selfie illumination there is some kind of halo effect on the bottom and the top that white kind of halo effect which comes because there is not enough black border on the front camera and if you're looking at it closely you will see the front camera does not have too much of the black border the black border is actually a lot shorter i feel so it should have been a little bit thicker black border on the front camera that's what i think sometimes if you switch to the video mode the, the camera actually force closes but in the normal video mode as you can see there is the 60 fps option and there is that mic switching option too you can definitely use that if you want so this Gcam is like pretty much one of the best Gcam that I have found and in AirOS this is working perfectly fine I feel. I'll definitely link that in the description you can install this Gcam if you want to. Talking about the quick setting panel and this is how it looks like we have the advanced reboot option right here. If you tap on restart and enable advanced reboot you will get the directly rebooting option to the recovery or fast boot from right here. Then we can edit and add multiple toggles over here. But some things that I still do not like about the quick selling panel, that is there is no AOD option or always on display toggling or turning on or turning off option over here for the quick selling panel. Here I have added the Wi-Fi mobile data, the Bluetooth icon and stuff, and the Bluetooth battery stats shows up in the status bar as well. No problems with that. And we have the percentage showing up in the quick setting panel too. The dark theme, auto rate, night light, hotspot options are there. The screen recorder is there. You can record the device audio and microphone audio at the same time. No issues. The donut disturb is there. The battery saver is there. And we have the Google Home controls. And yeah, pretty much that's it because I just added the sound toggle over there. But again, I'm pretty disappointed to not even get the always on display toggling option over here. But yeah, that's how it is. We can't do much about it. And jumping into the settings right now, let me show you what else are present in the settings. In the network settings, you will get this kind of options. And we have the other things like the battery settings. Let me talk about it again. You do not even get the battery temperature seeing option over here. Forget about the battery charging cycle and stuff. Those are simply not present, of course. And talking about the battery life, let me talk about it with the Aku battery app. If you're noticing, I have got about eight and a half hours of screen on time. So that's not bad at all. That's actually good, I would say. And if you look at my health of the battery, this is at about 91% battery health. So yeah, the battery life is good. I'm not saying it's bad or something. The battery life is good, but the charging I feel is a little slower 
when compared to other custom ROMs that have moved from like Cherry Swiss and stuff. Also while charging this is how it looks and it doesn't even show that percentage but it just does that flow kind of animation while charging. That's it. Now let's talk about the sound settings this is how it looks we have the media call ring etc volume controls and we have this charging sound and vibration touch sound the touch vibration option and the show volume panel on the left side is there so if you enable that the volume panel will be appearing from the left side there is the in call vibration option also there is a screenshot sound option over here and that's it the mu sound enhancer again is present in the system settings and in the display settings right now we have the brightness level the adaptive brightness and in the lock screen settings you will get the always show time and info that's the always on display and that is from where you can enable or disable the always on display so that's how it is but we do not even get that like pick up and those kind of ambient gestures over here that's kind of weird but we do get this wake screen for notification so yeah and we have the other things like the screen timeout is up to 30 minutes then we have the night light the colors are set to saturated you can also control the rgb of the screen no issues with that the double tap to wake is there and there is the daily data usage stats over there you can enable that and the status bar icons are there like the headset bluetooth etc icons for some reason there is that nfc icon too but yeah i think redmi note 10 pro indian unit does not even have that so no use of that for us in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks you can change the wallpapers from right here also there is the colors you can go with the basic or the wallpaper colors depending on the wallpaper you can change it and we have the dark theme the themed icons also the app grid you can set up to six by six we have the system icon packs and from here you can change between these many icon packs if you are noticing we do have some fonts too but yes not a huge amount of customizations but very light amount of customizations are present over here and as i already showed you there is no face unlock no app lock option here so you have to live with that talking about the basic things yes the ir blaster and stuff should be working fine if you're looking at that light ir blaster is not a problem on this rom also the dm info shows as l1 here so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p and the safety net passes right out of the box so you can use banking apps without any issues Yes, I have been using banking apps, no problems with that. By the way, talking about the Vault calling, yes, Vault calling is working fine. But as you can see, there is no Vault icon over here. But there is a call recording option in the like Google dialer over here. And you can of course switch between your Bluetooth devices and stuff if you want to. But yeah, again, there is no Vault icon in the status bar or even in the quick setting panel. The Vault icon simply does not appear. By the way, this is how the recent panel looks like. We have the screenshot, the clear all option and stuff and we have the split top option if you want to use those and i'll show you everything but first let me show you the scrolling the app scrolling kind of thing and here if i open two apps like play store and twitter let me just switch to twitter right now and if i go all the way to the top i think this is the top so yeah the scrolling if you're noticing it's fine i would say it's like working great i haven't seen any kind of huge lags or stutters at all in this rom it's really really fast and snappy experience that i have to say no issues whatsoever with the performance and here if you're noticing even in play store the scrolling is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever with the performance of this rom and even for split top let me actually go with that after scaling it works fine again just notice how smoothly it works and of course if you go into the recent panel with the split top mode both of the apps stay together and you can reopen them if you want to here are the android and geekbench score of this particular rom with a cpu stress test So what do I think about the latest ROS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro? I feel yes, this is one of the fastest experience that you will get. You do have the double tap to sleep and stuff. Those are really a pro, but the cons are a little too much for me because I don't get the Anix camera over here. I don't get the face unlock. I don't get the app lock. So if you're someone who do not need these things, you can definitely go with the latest ROS. Otherwise go for other custom ROMs like the Cherry Swiss or Zephyrus. These kind of ROMs will offer you much more features, I feel. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.